It's time for Paul's next big idea, the fruit of the spirit. The fruit of what? Oh, I love fruit. I'm especially partial to bananas. No, that's not the kind of fruit we're talking about. Apples? Wrong kind of fruit. Grapefruit? That's got fruit right in the name. Phil, help. Uh, let me see what I can do. Um, this is an orange. It is the fruit of an orange tree. It is what comes out of an orange tree. Like an apple is what comes out of an apple tree. I think we're following you. Though I'm still partial to bananas. Uh, I don't have a banana. We can wait while you go get one. I think we need to get on with the show. Paul starts out talking about the fruit that comes from our sinful nature before we follow Jesus. Paul says the fruit of our sinful nature is anger and pride and selfishness. All the things that make the world an ugly place sometimes, that make it so hard for us to get along with each other. So all the bad stuff we see, that is the fruit of our sinfulness. Okay, I get it. So what's this other fruit? Paul then talks about the fruit of the Spirit of God. When we follow Jesus and believe in the power of what he did on the cross, we are filled with the Holy Spirit. And Paul says with the Spirit of God inside you, the fruit that comes out is very different. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control from Paul's letter to the Galatians. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. This is the best fruit that could possibly come out of you. 